Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello, welcome back. Hello, any new subscribers, and um, thank you for all being here today. So, this is another one of the Edith Holden. It's a really small project today. You're probably thinking, yeah, we know how to do that. Um, and yeah, you, you maybe possibly have done it a million times, but I'd like you to <laughs> sit and keep me company. <laughs> uh, no, I was racking my brains on <clears throat> some more little notepads because last week, um, I'm just trying to find my corner round. Sorry for rummaging. Um, yeah, last week we made a bigger notepad. So the reason that I've made these notepads is because this was the paper that we was left. And I thought, yeah, I could make an even littler one you know similar to what we did last week and I thought actually I think the best use of the paper is is cutting it in half um, and then these are just made little um, little pads I was gonna do them scrappy and then I thought well with them being so thin um, I'll just keep them straight so I'll just do that and then we'll come we'll come back to them because we're going to decorate them a little bit so what I did is I just got five pieces of paper I like say so. now if you've been following along the last few weeks I'm using up these pages from um, nature notes uh, so the writing isn't as as beautiful as in the country garden but it's still beautiful lovely tone to the paper and um the writing's a really nice color i've not got the <clears throat> right glasses on let me just swap glasses oh cracky that's better um so yeah just using those up so all i'm doing is just folding down just before get to the writing so no pacific um you know measurement and just gonna cut a bit off both sides reason being there is writing on the back so just so it looks um a bit a bit neater yep and then Straighten my five sheets so make sure they're all at the top. And I'm going to line it up against one of the edges, like so. I have got my stapler. I'm just going to go in slightly on that side and then in slightly on that side. Um, I've just got the little paper trimmer here so I will cut the bottom off and the sides off is it done it and they're about two inches these I'm gonna say they are only really small but um I did make some really long thin pockets um not edith olden ones um there was with a bird kit from um the collage club and um yeah so these would be nice in just a long long thin thin pocket so that's those two that's just round the bottoms off just to make it look a bit jollier So we'll finish these papers off. I think I will do, I don't know if I'm going to do another um, pad one or if I'm going to do, um, I think we need four in these ones. Um, I was going to do some stamping on some material um, with the Edith Alden stamps and then make some tags with them because I'm nearly getting ready to <coughs> um, make some Edith Alden folios. Um, 
so I will then stop making ephemera and I can get on with, with the folios. So yeah, we might have one or two more weeks of making Edith ephemera. I still feel like I need some um <clears throat> some like little pockety things um you know opening things with a pocket here and a pocket there um we've not done any of them but i think i'll make a couple of folios get some of the pieces <clears throat> used that i've already made and then um when we revisit edith when we go to edith for tea again um we can do some some more of that kind of thing then so I can just round the corners I'd have been quicker doing it all and you know rounding the corners all in one go Oof, and all the rest of it come on you know you can do it that's it I just wanted to think about it and obviously these are nice things just to put in happy mail and things like that. So I didn't quite want as many sheets as I pulled out. But we've never enough got through this, this pile. And then I haven't got any more um, Edith Alden text pages until I start doing some folios anyway and you know um gutting <laughs> one of the books um for images and things like that so um yeah I need to crack open a new book before before I have any remnants left so that's that Two. So that's that. Let me just put these sheets away. But yeah, I thought I will do <clears throat> the tags that I'm on about um, with the book page as well as the back as the background. Um, So yeah, I think I'll probably do that next week and we'll revisit um notepads when we when we come back again after the big makes. So that's those. So I've got eight. Don't need the corner rounder anymore. I'm gonna use the tea stain. Um, what the lovely Jeanette sent me. Thank you very much, Jeanette. And I'm just going to go all around them. Like so, so I hope everybody's doing okay. You have to let me know what what you're up to. I know quite a few of you are making altered books and and things, and I know there's a few of you who um have had started making the the Tim Holtz um altered files. So that's brilliant. And I think there's a few of you doing some of the botanicals and stuff. Um. So at the minute we're still just making small small embellishments in in that series because I want to build my stash up because to make lots of a family you do need lots of different embellishments. So nearly there. <coughs> Sorry about my fingers, I have said it in another video. Um, I had to fill the printer up with ink and it was a new bottle. <coughs> and, um, oh, could I get it to open? So I ended up putting something like sharp in to break 
the plastic on the top and yeah it splurted out luckily it didn't go on my desk at all it just went on my hands um so yes and that was lucky <coughs> but i've had it on my fingers now two days and it still looks nice and fresh <laughs> so i don't know how long it's gonna take take that to to disappear right last one then we're just going to put a little bit of lace <coughs> across the top just to not to hide the staple but i mean <coughs> because i did them in twos they're obviously not central so i don't need that anymore i think before we put some lace on I'm going to put a, a little stamp on the front of them. Oh, that's nice tea. I've got Yorkshire tea at the minute. Oh, it's good, good tea. So I've got the stamping <coughs> platform out because I love it. <laughs> it um, really makes my life easier. Right, so if I lined it up there seven every time and that went there hopefully each one will line up because I'm hoping that they are all the, the same kind of um, length the pads so we've got it on right I was thinking that I might try the pistachio. Oh, <laughs> never thought about that. Um, I might try the pistachio. If not, um, try the bamboo leaves. So I'll just put the ink on. Like so. That's come out fine. So that's one. Do you think I'll be able to get another stamp out of it, or do you think I'll have to put some more on? Probably put some more on with it only being the first stamp. Yeah, it looks quite nice faded like that, though. It's quite mysterious. Yeah, it's a nice colour that is. So that was the pistachio. I think I have put all the colours that I've got on my um, Amazon storefront link. Oh, what happened there? Just put the magnet in the wrong place. <coughs> So these are from the Edith Holden stamps, um, which was free a couple of years ago now in a in a card magazine. When um, I do the tag one, I will get get them all out and we'll have a look at them. And get a second one out of it now. No. Oh, it's being mean. I don't think these kind of stamps hold hold that much in them. Um, it. Come on, I'm losing the um, the repetition. I 
kind of got into a good rhythm and then I just totally, totally lost it. I think my mind wandered because I felt confident in in what I was doing. I thought, oh, I don't have to think about that now. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, oof, what am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? Right, one last one. Let's put the lid on. So yeah, that was this pistachio. I've told you that I love this <laughs> stamping thing. Oh dear. I used to totally avoid stamping. Um yeah, now I don't. I'm like, oof, let's go. <laughs> let's get that mat up. Right, let's have a look what, what lace we've we've got. I just want something something thin. But they look really cute, you know, to say they just some, you know, book pages that, you know, aren't doing much good. And some leftover papers. Now, I've got these little um, bows. I have these from eBay. Uh, I've just seen that Tina put a video up actually making these kinds of, of bows. I, I think that kind of thing would make my eyes, eyes water. I'm not good with tiny things now i love that minky color and i think there's only a couple oh there's a couple of them yep stay there oh dear what's that so we'll have a couple of cream ones Yes, um, the ones from eBay, and I buy some bigger ones from them as well, which have got um, like sticky tape at the back of them. Oh, don't come out. That's it. Um, which are these ones? And I've had these in quite a few <laughs> different colours for different projects. I've I've done, um, and they can't oh, talk to Anya. They're quite handy. <laughs> right. Let's have another cream. I'm going to save the pink for something pinky. I want these a bit more neutrally. Let's have another one of those ones. Right. <coughs> See what thin lace we've, we've got so they're all <coughs> pieces, I feel like I have the lace out there, oh I've put it back I'm going to say I felt like I'd had it out right so that's a, a good colour I think there's only about <coughs> four different ones in, in here I'm all, I'm all tied up with each other. Right. So, <clears throat> let's go one by one. I'm going to use the fabric tap, but I want to be really careful because I don't want it to um, have that shininess. So, I'm going to stick that just across there. Let me get my scissors. I'm going to cut them just a little bit bigger and then I will trim them off <coughs> when when it's dry. So I'm just going to put a line, pop that over, let's just pull that across a bit, that's it. And then I think I'm going to have that in the corner. So I'll just put, put a dob at the back and then a dob right at the top of each of the, the legs. I don't know what, the, the tails. Um, <clears throat> just so that they don't come, come undone. I've lost my pokey knitting needle and nobody has seen it, you know. Um, so I don't know where that's gone. And you'll know that 
I'm always pulling it out to, to use it. So I think that looks really, really nice. I'm glad I remembered um, about those. So that's that one. Oh, I'm sick of seeing my fingers. <laughs> you see me? Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're glad when your fingers grow back. But yeah, oh. Awful. Say, so, I'm glad I'm not at work. It's like customers would be looking at me and gone out as if, you know, I'd got something wet on my hand or as if my finger was bleeding or something. I don't know if you can hear Alan laughing. I think she's on the phone downstairs. She was downstairs playing The Sims on the computer. She's just finished um, a schoolwork for the day. I don't know why that tail wants to go that way. Oh, I'm just going to let it go that way. Yeah, so she's finished the school for the, for the day. Now oh, she's having a bit of a chill. I'm filming this on a Tuesday and um, normally Ryan, I've probably told you a million times, but Ryan normally works late on a Tuesday. Um, I think every fourth Tuesday or something he doesn't. So, um, me and Alan, we, we've been watching Stranger Things and we have a takeout. So, that's what we do on a Tuesday. And we're getting, we're getting to the end of the second, um, season and I am loving it. Just bring that across a little bit more. That's it. I'm gonna do that one <clears throat> in the middle. So yeah really really enjoying it. Um and yeah I tried to watch it once before and I just couldn't couldn't get into it but um i don't know if it's because i'm watching a note with alan or i'm enjoying it because we have been talking <coughs> about the music and the fashion and stuff like like that so <coughs> i don't know if that's added some interest or if it's the takeout <laughs> what we have <laughs> oh it's so nice just to have a, a night of, of not cooking so i've been I'm not getting up so early. It's just been so dark. Um, and, yeah, I've just been having to drag myself out of bed. So, by the time I actually, you know, am awake enough to, to start my day and stuff, you know, perhaps got ready, had a quick tidy round, you know, done your daily chores... It's like gone dinner time. So it seems to be getting later and later when I when I managed to, to come in here. So I've just said to Ellen, I've still got quite a bit that I want to get done today. Um there's that one. So I'm aiming to be done and in the you know, bathed and fluffy jammers on by um, about seven o'clock so we normally order the food so it gets here for like eight o'clock and then we tend to watch two um, and that's normally like ten o'clock and then I go straight to bed straight cut that to that side So obviously you could do lots of different things with these and obviously you don't don't have to have them as thin as these. But it's perfect for little bits of scrap. Like I say, if it hadn't have been Edith old and I perhaps would have done them as scrappy tags. Uh, scrappy tags. Scrappy ones. So you'd like to the first page off there, the second page there, you know, so it's like a waterfall. Uh, but I'd have done it with me tearing ruler to give it that um, 
scrappy look oh this is why i hate fabric tag it all comes back to me now i can say i don't i don't use it off as much as i used to Surprising how you can make something, you know, so small, quite, you know, pretty. Right, two more. I'm going to get my desk tidied up and do the orders from from the Etsy shops. Because um, it's post day tomorrow. Yeah. That one and this one kind of what's that brown not Oh, that. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it's lovely to to air a laugh. You know, we're not going out and obviously not going to school and that. It's it's hard, but um, luckily, because she's only in the second year of of big school, because um, she she's just thirteen. So luckily. You know, she'd been at school long enough to have, you know, made a set of friends and, and stuff. Otherwise, she'd have been so, so lonely. So, yeah, it's nice to hear her on the phone laughing and, and what have you. So, that's that one. I'm going to have to clean all that fabric tack up. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I have, and like I say, it's it's nice to to get these little bits used up. So I've got eight eight little. T uh, why do I keep calling them tags? Well, they could be tag. No, they can't, Tanya. They could be. <laughs> we could have decorated this, and it could have been a tag. Yeah. I like that idea. Maybe if I remember it, I might do it one day. <laughs> so thanks for joining me and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.